Hi, I'm Logan with NAS, and today I'm going to talk about some of the features and capabilities of the Victron VRM site. Here at NAS, we specialize in complete system integration, and we offer ongoing tech support and troubleshooting service for the entire life of your NAS design system. When you share access to your system with NAS using the VRM site, it allows us to configure and monitor the system remotely. Now this is an extremely powerful tool that helps us optimize the performance of your system as much as possible, and it also helps to assist with troubleshooting should you have any issues down the road. The Victron Remote Monitoring Site, or the VRM, serves as the link between your physical real-world installation and the internet. In order to use the Victron VRM site, you are required to have a GX device as part of your system. So a GX device these days, the most common one would be the Serbo GX. You can also do it with a color control, a Venus. Um, what, the, what the GX device does in your system is it essentially aggregates all the data that your components are collecting individually and it makes it available for you to see in one single place, which is the VRM site. And also that GX device is serving as the link between the equipment and the internet. So the VRM site can be used either on a mobile device or a computer. What I'm gonna show you in this video today is, is the features and capabilities on the VRM using a laptop. One of the requirements to view your equipment on the VRM in addition to having the GX device as part of your system is that GX device does require a connection to the internet. That can be either Wi-Fi, Ethernet, it could be a, a, a cell phone mobile hotspot. What's great about the VRM is it's a free site. There's no subscription fees or any kind of service charges. The VRM site will allow you to access your installation from anywhere in the world with an internet connection. This is a really awesome, super powerful tool um, every complete Victron system I design and sell, I really try to push for getting that set up on the VRM site. Uh, we have many systems that we monitor all throughout the United States, uh, internationally, Mexico, Africa, Europe. Uh, we're able to see those systems uh, from anywhere we are at with an internet connection, whether that be from the comfort of our office here in Flagstaff or on the road. Um, any, anywhere you can get on the internet, you're able to see the VRM, and uh, that allows you to access your system, see how it's performing any time of day or night. So with the VRM site, you can share access with anybody you want, whether that be your system co-owners, your installer, maybe a technician in the field. Um, what's really cool about the VRM is, is a single VRM account you can actually manage and monitor multiple installations. So if you're an installer and you're putting in a Victron system every week, every couple weeks, you can actually provide access to each one of those sites individually and it will show up you know, on, your, on your master list of installations. Connecting your Victron Energy System to the VRM site saves us at NAS and yourself valuable time. When you install the system originally, using the VRM can help with uh, configuring the equipment to match your application and doing your initial firmware updates. The VRM site will also allow us to monitor the performance of the system long term. Okay, so if there's any trends or behavior that you're not sure why that's happening for some reason, we can look back at the data across multiple days, weeks, months, and see those trends and different, different performance over time. This also greatly reduces the amount of time and effort it takes to troubleshoot if you have a problem with your system. So rather than uh, being on the phone and, and us kind of flying blind here at the office, we're, we're reading manuals, we're looking up uh, specification sheets. When we have the system linked on the VRM, now we can actually see exactly the same thing that you're seeing on site. So it kind of cuts out the, the, any, any communication issues of the, an end user trying to explain to us over the phone what the problem is or what might be going on. Sometimes when a system is experiencing an issue or a problem, it's easier for us at NAS to take control directly of your equipment, make those changes or do your firmware updates for you, rather than trying to walk through that process over the phone when, when we're not on site with you at that installation. Now again, one of the things here at NAS that we pride ourselves in is, is this ongoing tech support and service you will receive from us for the entire life of your system. 
getting, getting your equipment set up with the VRM makes that process much easier for both parties. Now that we know a little bit more about what the VRM site can do and why it's useful, I'm actually gonna show you how to use the VRM site in real time uh, with this little test system that we've got here set up in our office. So the first thing you'll see on the VRM page when you access it is your, your dashboard or your main system overview, okay? So here we kind of see a quick at a glance of what all the components are doing in real time. Uh, the temperature at the site, you know, how many watts you're ringing in from solar, how many watts are going in or out of the batteries, what state your inverter's in, state of charge. All that shows up very quickly at a glance on the dashboard or the main system overview screen. So right now we've just kind of got a little mock-up system with some Victron devices set up in our office. Uh, we don't have any solar connected or real AC loads, so there's not a whole lot of data to see here on this overview screen, but at least we can see some of the uh, devices populated, common ones that most people would have as part of their Victron energy system. So from there, I'll take you over to the advanced tab. And so here is where we can see a little more detail on each specific component in the system. Um, if you have not yet accessed this page, uh, you might not see anything showing up under the advanced, but you go up to the top right corner here where it says widgets, click on that, and now you should be able to see all the devices in your system populating this list. Um, so in this case, we've got a uh, Multi Plus 2, uh, 12 volt, 3000 watt unit hooked up as part of our little demo system. And we can click on that device, shows up as a VE bus system on the VRM. And here you can actually select individual parameters or conditions uh, that you'd like to view in more detail. Okay, so just to give us something to look at here, we're, we're gonna take a look at the VE bus summary, your AC input power, AC output power, and then the VE bus DC voltage and current. You can see there's a bunch of other options you can select there as well. So once you've selected those different parameters from the, the widgets list, now it's gonna populate down below, okay? So scrolling down a little bit, now we can see all those different parameters that we selected in their own sort of individual window, okay? If we go back up really quick, you'll notice there's other parameters we can select for our battery monitor, the smart shunt, and then we've got a uh, 150 smart solar controller as part of the mock-up here as well. So all those show up on the list there. I'm just gonna look at the inverter for now. And again, there's not really any meaningful data that the system's gathering or collecting at the moment. Um, so jumping down here now to the advanced windows, you can see a much more sort of fine-tuned uh, view of these specific parameters for that certain device that you selected before, okay? Um, so what's really cool about this page is when you mouse over uh, one of the lines here on the graph, you can see how in the other windows, it's also putting the cursor at the exact same point in time, right? So if you're trying to diagnose an issue that maybe a customer called you about or you were having with your system that happened at a certain date and time, you can actually come here to the advanced tab uh, select a date if it's not today and then uh, you can even select a specific time range too right over here. Um, what I like to do here is if we're really looking on sort of a micro scale trying to find out why a certain issue is happening or when you can come down to one of the advanced windows and you can actually drag to, to further magnify or narrow in on that specific time range. So it's really, really quite sophisticated. Um, again, I'm only showing you a couple of these uh, parameters from the inverter, but you can really see lots of details for any Victron connected device that's a part of your VRM site. So once we're all done in the advanced page here, now the next thing I'll show you is the device list, all right? So similar idea, you click on device list in the left-hand column here, and that's gonna now show you all the connected devices that are part of your your Victron system showing up on the VRM site. So here we see our Servo GX, that's the gateway, uh, the VE bus system, that's our MultiPlus inverter, Smart Shunt, and our solar charge controller. If you expand the plus sign here to the right of the device list, you'll be able to see um, <clears throat> more details for that specific component, uh, some of the settings that are enabled. 
Here you can check the firmware revisions and see the last time uh, that component uh, registered any data or connected to the VRM. So uh, scrolling down further here on our device list page, we'll see a couple more options. Um, the first one here is remote VE configure. All right, so this actually allows us to program a VE bus product, like a MultiPlus or Quattro inverter charger remotely. Um, it's, it's not too difficult. You would download the file, make your changes, and then re-upload it. All of this, again, is happening over the internet. You don't necessarily need to be on site, um, but that, that is how we would uh, remotely program a VE bus product. So I'll just take you back really quick then. Uh, the other thing to find on the device list page here is the option to do firmware updates. So you can click that button. Uh, it'll, it'll take a second to load. Uh, but once this comes up, you'll be able to see uh, what firmware revision each device has and whether or not it needs an update. Okay, so we can see all of our uh, three components here. Again, the Smart Solar uh, MPPT 150, our Smart Shunt, and our MultiPlus 2. Uh, actually, all the firmware happens to be up to date already. So you'll see that little green check there to the right of each product showing that it is up to date. Um, if that wasn't the case though, here you would see an option to perform the firmware update using the VRM. You do have to be a little bit cautious doing the firmware updates for the inverter. Just make sure you follow the process or procedure step by step. And of course, you can always call us with any questions. We'll help walk you through it as well. Now, you can also do remote configuration and settings changes for VE Direct products. So those are the smart solar controllers, uh, the Victron line of battery monitors are probably the two main ones there. Um, now, it's recommended when you have VE Direct components in your system, you do want to use the VE Direct communication ports as opposed to the VE CAN because that's what will let us do the uh, configuration and changes remotely. Um, now, I'm not showing that in this video per se, but to remotely program a uh, VE Direct connected device using the VRM, uh, you would be using the Victron Connect Bluetooth app, and you would just need to make sure you're, you're linking your VRM site to your Victron Connect app. All right, so we'll just keep moving through the, the settings here on the left-hand column in VRM top to bottom. So we just looked at the device list. Uh, the next one you can, you can check out is settings. Uh, there's not a whole lot in here to look at, but uh, you can change the general settings of your system, add some tags to it. You can revise the uh, geographical location. You can set a geofence, which is kind of a cool feature. Uh, you, under users, this is where you would invite others to your system and then alarm rules that would let you configure or change, you know, who gets an alarm or why they're getting a certain alarm uh, if desired. Uh, we'll go back out then. And the next thing to show you here on the VRM is the remote console. So this is actually a really, really cool feature. It's probably something that I use the most uh, out of all the different uh, tabs here on the left in VRM. So what this does, remote console, is it's kind of like a a real world view of the uh, touch display that would be on site as part of that physical installation. So uh, most of the time, especially now with the Servo GX, you would also be getting one of the GX touch displays, either the 50 or the 70 model. And the remote console is viewing that same exact touch screen, but now from a remote location over the internet using the VRM. So. Uh, you click remote console open in the VRM and uh, again it's literally showing you the exact same thing that you would see on site or it's showing you what your end user or the person that is on site is seeing on their physical touch screen. So um, I'll kind of just show you, um, you know, the remote console really quick. Um, again, not anything different than what you'd see with the touch screen there, but this is just a way to access that remotely. Uh, over the VRM. So after the remote console, we can go back here to our left-hand column and, and uh, see some of the other features. There's not a whole lot going on with these, but I'll just touch on, on them briefly. Uh, you have a notes tab where that will let you add a custom note or you know important information about that system. Now that's gonna be available to you on the VRM and anybody that you've shared access with. 
Uh, you can add photos to your system on the VRM as well. Uh, the share tab will let you share uh, the site to others who may wish to monitor it or see what's going on. Um, you've got your alarm logs here, which is kind of like a list, a historical list of all the different alarms or faults, errors, warnings that the system has uh, gathered or generated over time. Now again, nothing is showing up on our little demo system here because there's, there's no alarms to be found at all. Uh, and then the last one there, reporting. This will let you run custom reports, um, select different data that you want to export or share with others. So the main goal for this video was showcasing some of the important features and capabilities of the VRM site. Take a look at our other video where I show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get your system connected to the internet, setting it up on the VRM, and sharing access with us here at NAS. When you purchase a complete solar system from NAS, we offer ongoing troubleshooting and technical support for the entire life of that system. If you have a Victron Energy system, the VRM site is an extremely powerful and useful tool with a lot of great features. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos and check out the Learning Center on our website. If you have any questions about Victron Energy systems, using the VRM, or if you need help designing a system of your own, please give us a call or send us an email and one of our design engineers can assist. Thank you for watching.